Hello, my name is Ricardo Knauer and I would like to introduce our work on PMLB Mini, a tabular classification benchmark suite for data scarce applications. Um, so let me start off with why I think data scarcity is important. Um, I think it matters because tabular data sets are just often very small in practice. Imagine that you are a clinician who wants to predict if a certain disease is present or not. Then, of course, if this disease is very rare, it can be very hard for you to collect medium or large sample sizes. Also, when you look at the literature for benchmarks on tabular data, you will see that there are a number of benchmarks out there, but um, there are often only few small size data sets in these benchmarks. The one exception is the Penn Machine Learning Benchmarks, PMLB. Um, which has a larger number of small size data sets, but doesn't provide easy ways to evaluate or analyze machine learning methods on these data sets. So that is why in our work we now introduce PMLB Mini, which is the first benchmark suit for the evaluation and analysis of small size tabular data. And we will see in the next few minutes that it allows us to answer questions like are autumnal and deep learning methods actually superior to simple baselines in this setting? Um, and under which conditions are these more complex methods beneficial. So as a first step, of course, we needed to collect some data sets for our benchmark. So we chose the Penn Machine Learning Benchmarks to do so. Um, and we selected binary classification problems with sample sizes less than or equal to 500, which yielded 44 data sets in total. Regarding the machine learning methods, we on the one hand wanted to include simple baselines because we know they often yield good performances. Um, but then, of course, we also wanted to integrate state-of-the-art methods um, for AutoML, that is autoprognosis and autogluon, and also state-of-the-art deep learning methods, that is TAPEFN and Hyperfast. I also want to point out that it would be very easy to implement additional methods with our suit because we provide an easy scikit-learn interface to do so. Now that we had the data and the methods, we then wanted to see how these methods actually fare in the data scarce setting. And that is why we um, evaluated them in the setting, but actually we were surprised that there didn't appear to be large performance differences between the approaches on average. We found that logistic regression performed similar to more complex methods on 55% of the data sets. Um, but on the other hand, we also found that TAPFN and autoprognosis achieved a statistically significantly better rank than logistic regression. So that brought up the question, why is that the case? So are there maybe some data set characteristics or meta features um, that would allow us to predict when a certain method would be more beneficial? So that is why with our suit, we also provide means to perform meta feature analysis. So to extract meta features like the sample size or the feature set size from our data, and then analyze if they can explain the better performance for the more complex methods in some cases. And what we did find is that the AutoML performance seems to be correlated with complexity meta features. And the deep learning performance seems to be correlated with statistical meta features like the feature means. Um, so that most likely means that AutoML methods are more suited for more complex data sets and deep learning methods may be more suited for data sets where the training data is more similar to the meta training or the pre-training data. Okay, so what are the main takeaways? Um, on the one hand, you can see that data scarce tabular applications are still underrepresented in current comparisons, which is why we proposed PMLB Mini as an easy way to evaluate and analyze classifiers in the setting. Since our submission, we have also provided some updates. For example, we now have Bradley Terry trees available for meta feature analysis. And of course, we also plan to release further updates in the future, then also that go beyond the pen machine learning benchmarks. Um, and that is why our suit in the future will be maintained as Tab Mini and you find the QR code to our suit over here. And with that, I would like to thank you.